What's going on everybody? My name is Jalen Truitt and this is United Financial Education. Today, I'm going to give you three realistic ways to improve your credit score right now. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, grab a pen, paper, and let me share some knowledge with you. Let's go. Welcome back to United Financial Education. You've taken all of the necessary steps to fix your credit, like removing inaccurate information off of your credit report and making sure you're on top of your financial obligations by making on-time payments. But for some odd reason, that doggone credit score ain't budging. Well, my friend, you've definitely come to the right place because I'm going to show you three easy methods you can do to take your score to the next level. But before we jump right in, please allow me to establish a realistic expectation. Your credit score isn't going to drastically improve in a week, but I will tell you that following these methods will make a significant difference, possibly within a month or two. So here we go. Option number one comes in two folds. On one hand, it'll definitely improve your credit score. On the other, it's a great way to jumpstart your kid's credit history. I'm referring to becoming an authorized user on an account that's always paid on time and has a low credit utilization rate. Doing so will definitely boost your credit score because you will benefit from that individual's credit history for that specific account. Now, let's say that the primary card holder begins to be a little funny uh, with his money and they're making late payments. Would that affect you? Absolutely it would. However, it's an easy fix. Simply call the three credit bureaus and open a dispute. Tell them your situation and that the primary cardholder is making late payments. The late payments on your credit history caused by the primary cardholder will be removed within 30 days. Look, I'm not saying that you should jump on anyone's bandwagon as an authorized user. As a matter of fact, you should make sure that you vet the individual very well because your credit is dependent on it. But since we're on the topic of authorized users, please allow me to introduce to you something that you may not be aware of. For those who have good credit, did you know that you can set your children up for success by adding them as authorized users on your account? Look. My kids are one, five, and seven, and they're all authorized users on my Capital One account. Yes, you heard me right. Even my one-year-old is an authorized user on my account. When it comes to minimum age required to be an authorized user, all credit card companies are not created equal. So what's the minimum age required to be an authorized user? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's a list of various companies along with their minimum age for authorized users. Now, when you add your child or children as an authorized user, most credit card companies will not ask you for their social security number. And some people who are not well informed will tell you that a social security number is required in order to establish credit history. And that is most definitely not true. You do not need a social security number to establish credit. Facts. Option number two. I remember being a young lad, living life carelessly, tearing the clubs up during spring break in Panama City Beach, partying like it was 1999 with a maxed out credit card, which in turn jacked up my credit score. But years later, I was determined to repair my credit and I did so with a secure credit card. With a secure credit card, you provide a deposit to a bank and in return, you receive a credit card with a credit limit equal to what you deposited. So if you deposited $300, your credit limit is going to be $300. If you deposited $600, your credit limit will be $600. The typical range for a secure credit card is from $200 to $3,000. And sometimes the financial institution may or may not add onto your credit limit. The bank uses your deposit as collateral in the event you don't pay your doggone bills. Other than having to deposit money, 
a secure credit card works exactly like a unsecured traditional credit card. The secret is to use your card every month to make small purchases and then turn around and pay the balance off in full. This is demonstrating your ability to manage credit. Remember, payment history is the most important factor in your credit score. Paying your bills on time is one of the simplest ways to boost your credit. The reason why you don't want to carry a balance to the next month is because you want to keep your credit utilization rate, aka the amount of available credit you're using, low. Remember, credit utilization is the second most important factor in credit scores after payment history. So with a secure credit card, plus on-time payment, plus low credit utilization equals an improved credit score. On top of that, with continuous on-time payment, the lender of your secure credit card will most likely convert it to a unsecured credit card and give you your deposit back. Yes, sir. Option number Three. Back in the days when I was repairing my credit, I thought of this great idea to get a personal loan, leave it in a savings account, and just use it to repay my loan to establish credit. Well, it works just fine, but of course, with a not so great credit score, the interest rate was pretty hefty. Nowadays, you don't have to go through the complexity of trying to qualify for a loan to do something similar to what I did. Just get a self-lending loan. A self-lending loan are credit building loans that doesn't require a huge amount of money up front and it charges exceedingly reasonable rates. In addition to that, no credit check and no credit score is required. Many credit unions, banks, and financial technology companies like the one called Self will allow you to get a small loan in your name and apply it to a CD, which is a certificate of deposit. For those who do not know, a certificate of deposit is basically a certificate issued by a financial institution to you as an indication that they're borrowing your money and giving you interest for it. The cool thing about this is that every time you make an on-time monthly payment, it's reported to the three major credit bureaus as a positive payment made, which in turn improves your credit score. So basically, you're collecting on a small loan that you made out to yourself. If you're interested in trying out Self, the startup fee is pretty cheap. There's a $9 admin fee and a monthly fee of $25. And just for your awareness, I am not in any way affiliated with the company. I'm simply sharing the knowledge that was shared to me in United Financial Education on Facebook. I hope that you found this video useful. If you made it this far, I commend you on being serious about improving your credit. It will definitely pay off on the long run. Cheaper mortgages, cheaper car payments, cheaper personal loans, your credit score will definitely improve your way of life. If you haven't done so already, please click on the like button and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it so that the algorithm will do its thing and keep me in mind when financial literacy is discussed. Thanks again for your time and until next time, share the knowledge.